Welcome to this vodcast. I'm trying something new again and I'd like to be able to present a monthly wrap up, what I've been doing over the last part of the month and what I've been, what I'm planning to do over the next month. There's been a lot going on in my own constituency of the Australian Capital Territory. On my website I'm running a campaign for ComSuper recipients and Defence Pension recipients. We've had fantastic traffic and interest on the site with many people posting their views. I'm making sure that the Minister responsible, uh, Mr Lindsay Tanner, is hearing those views and I'll be asking questions in Parliament on those issues very soon. Other things that have been happening here is of course the Federal Government's expenditure on the stimulus package. The Canberra community, like every other in Australia, uh, needs that stimulus to keep our economy ticking over and I'm really pleased to see so many of our local schools, for example, are receiving some of that money and tradespeople getting the work to get those upgrades done. One of the interesting things about my job is that Parliament doesn't sit all of the time. So when Parliament's not sitting, uh, I do a range of things. And of course, we've been focusing on the wrap up from our previous public sphere event over the last month or so. And just uh, over the last few days, we've been able to release the final PDF that contains all of the policy suggestions and a review of the actual public sphere event itself. Most of you will remember that the government launched its Gov 2.0 task force at our public sphere event. So over the next month we've got a couple of weeks before sitting in Parliament for two weeks. In the lead up to that sitting period I'm involved in two Senate inquiries, the Broadband Select Committee which is an ongoing committee looking at the National Broadband Network and another committee, the Environment, Communications and Arts Senate Committee that will be inquiring into the first bill that the government is putting forward to facilitate the rollout of the National Broadband Network. So a strong focus on the telecommunication system and Labor's plans for the future. Following that, we have two weeks of sitting and the legislation consideration in the House I think will be focused on the emissions trading scheme and in the Senate I'm particularly looking forward to the discussion and debate around the FOI legislation and the accompanying bill on the Information Commissioner. So in addition to what we've been doing here in Parliament there have been lots of other things happening across ICT. There's the ongoing ICT reform program arising out of the Gershon Review. Uh, there's been some developments there that I will be focusing on uh, a little later in a further vodcast. There's also uh, the announcement by Stephen Conroy about the digital economy futures. I wasn't able to attend the launch personally in Sydney but I know it went really well and that document will provide a great framework for future policy development for the digital economy in Australia. And this, when linked to the National Broadband Network, is an essential piece of work that will ensure Australia can really reap the economic benefits that ought to come out of the big investment in our National Broadband Network. We've got our National ALP Conference in Sydney this month. It's three days of intensive debate about motions and our national platform. This will place us in good stead leading into an election year next year. Finally, if you'd like more information about the Senate committees or House committees or the legislation program, you can go to www.aph.gov.au and uh, search on each of those committees for more information. If there's anything specific you'd like to me to include in my monthly wrap-ups, please let me know and uh, I'll look forward to doing it each month.